Okay, so a different setting and hopefully clickbait got you here and I'm about to eat dinner which I brought from work, from my work cafeteria and I just want to take this time to talk about um, the Soviet kitchens and I'm sitting here in my Soviet kitchen which I want to talk about and I also have my little drink and is it an actual mukbang? No, it's not. I just wanted to do something while I eat dinner and uh, talk about how the Soviet kitchens were in many apartments, especially the older ones like my, my own, uh, they were very teeny tiny. So, and this is coffee by the way, and I drink coffee in the evening because you cannot stop me. But yeah, Soviet kitchens were made small and there is this one notion that I wanna share with y'all, but first let me eat something. I don't know if I'm going to include the actual eating into the video because I know that a lot of people get really irritated by other people eating. I mean, I'm kind of okay with people eating. I know that chewing noises really get to some people and it's not something they can control, but um, yeah, Soviet kitchens in some apartment complexes were made intentionally small because the plan was for the people not to cook at home. They wanted to create those spaces, which they actually called a uh, fabrika kuchnia, which is translated roughly as a factory kitchen or a kitchen factory. And they thought that people would get their food at those places and at home they wouldn't really use the kitchen for much, maybe just to make some tea in the morning and, you know, eat some snacks and maybe just like bring some food in containers and eat it at home. So you wouldn't really need a lot of like storage space and stuff. So a lot of those uh, old Soviet kitchens are pretty tiny. And yeah, it is very uncomfortable for us modern people because we need space for cooking and it's not much space we've got here. And when you don't know this little fact that the Soviets were aiming at the people not to have to spend extra labor at home cooking for themselves, this kind of a kitchen totally makes sense. And talking more about like cooking and how, you know, everybody doesn't need to necessarily cook for oneself. And of course, it's great to have the skill. It's a very useful skill, but it is helpful to refer to Angela Davis's work, which is like her most famous work. I don't remember what it's called, but I'm going to insert the title here. But, and she talks there about, you know, domestic labor and cooking and cleaning and how it is unproductive and very not creative type of labor that you have to do over and over and over again. It's just very repetitive. So she proposes the industrialization of domestic labor, which nowadays we can call automation, right? Like the robots can make the stuff for us and we can just sit back and enjoy, right? Yeah, we have the capacity to do that, but unfortunately capitalists are not interested in, you know, making our lives easier. They just want us to fend for ourselves. And uh, yeah, they don't care whether the lives of the laborers is easy or not. But imagine how much time and resources we could conserve if we actually use the same technology we already have, but with, you know, socialist or communist intentions. Like we already have the capacity to produce all the food, you know, outside of the house. We have all these industrial sized kitchens in like restaurants and cafeterias where they have this gigantic equipment, giant fridges, you name it. And people who receive training who are able to very efficiently produce a large amount of food. And you know, not everybody has to do that nowadays. And one more reason why I talk about this is because my husband is beginning to work as a So he is working with large quantities of food nowadays. And this is something that he's always been very much interested in. And whenever he cooks, like whenever he cooked at home, he would just make these large, large batches of food all the time, which we would need to, you know, consume for several days in order to finish. So I would always tell him, you would really excel in the Soviet cooking that is aimed at, you know, large quantities of people. So you are like this factory kitchen or kitchen factory worker of the future who always thinks of feeding more people, you know? And uh, we have the capacity to do that now. We have all the means, but they belong to the unproductive class. So all we can do is get our takeaway, sit in our tiny kitchens 
or big kitchens what have you and just complain about random stuff uh, but yeah so let me know if you want to make it a thing and we can just sit and eat sometimes or let me know if you hate it and let's see how many people unsubscribe because I dare and eat on camera and I hope you have a good day and I'll talk to you later